Beginning of 22nd century, a meteorite crash in North America. Scientists who analyzed it discovered an unknown element. This element ushered in a new era for humanity. A new energy source, viridium, became a key to interplanetary travel. Soon, mining companies competed to create new settlements all over the solar system. Their political and economic power grew to surpass even the largest nations. Soon, megacorporation V-Corp took control of 65% of all known viridium fields. It's year 2177. In one of V-Corp mines, located on asteroid Frontier Horizon, an alleged biological organism took over the surrounding ecosystem. This organism was called the Agent. A scientific team was unofficially sent to the asteroid to investigate. All trace of the team was lost. The infamous Gemini 2 squad was sent to find out what happened. Hello everybody, and welcome once more to Haller for an Hour. This time we're checking out the game Bio Biota, or well, how you want to say it, that acronym. I wonder what the acronym means. I guess we'll find out. This game looked really interesting to me. It is a Metroidvania with a very unique flair to it. At least from what I get, have been able to gather about it. I uh, really like the look of it. I think it uh, it has a really cool palette to it, and obviously we can also change palettes. Uh, We'll save the default for now because a few people are asking for that. But there are a lot of options if you want to play around with there. It's only four colors, but you sure choose a lot of different uh, color options. Now, I do want to say that this game, it's sort of an intro that I probably won't include in the YouTube intro, but I will explain. This game has flashing images. Please be aware of that if you suffer from epilepsy. Please be careful. But with that being said, hello, everybody. And of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but I need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so because it really does make a difference. Every view counts. Uh, also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. Now let's begin. I am glad that intro was so long. It gave me just the right amount of time to finish my burger before I did my intro. I'm a professional. <laughs> you don't have much time. This ast the asteroid is approaching the black hole too fast. Okay. God damn, my teleport was damaged the clash, but there should be an elevator just ahead. It won't take off out you, but you have to hurry. The lower crust has already started to crumble. Oh no, when the lower crust starts to crumble, the bread is uh, getting a bit stale and you can't have it. The sandwiches you make with it are just not going to be as good. I'm coming. Save a couple beers for me. Over and out. I guess we're playing some kind of Duke Nukemish fellow. Alright. We have a wall jump. Okay. What else we got? Uh, whatever. Missiles. Okay. Had a map. Okay. Hi there, Flare. Yes, you can shoot in directions. Not down, though. Yeah, what caught my attention about this game was I really liked how it kind of just... Uh, just kind of the aesthetic I was going for, in my opinion. It looked pretty good. Money! Or something. I, I, lightning. Special weapon. Oh. Uh... Uh, they say to use that one button, but it doesn't work. Maybe I need an enemy on screen to do it. Yeah, you do. 
Okay, it seems to be a lightning weapon, so maybe I need something to conduct, basically. Alright. <clears throat> alternate leap. What do you mean, alternate leap? What does that mean? Oh, I see. They call the wall climb an alternate leap. What a weird thing to call a wall climb, but alright. Not a fan of the explosion. Yeah, it is kind of visually busy. There's a lot going on there. Not like it's bad per se, but I would I would agree with you. Interacts, okay. Oh no, I've been surrounded. I'm, I got 34 of 100. I'm picking up like gold off the enemies. I'm not really sure. I wonder. No, I can't reach it. Is it a death pit? Yes. It's kind of odd to mix that in with a Metrovia, but fair enough. Oh, you could save any time by hitting select. That's interesting. Yeah, okay, I guess the fact that there isn't a down there indicates on the map that is that that's my clue, I suppose. So yeah, this is what the game looks like with the default palette. Like this is how the, this is how they intend the game to look. But I actually am curious. I, I do see we can change it anytime. So my, the one I was looking at the most, uh, most favorably, was Orion because it, it feels very shadowy. How's the, how's the game look in that? I got an achievement for changing the palette. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Because <laughs> it be the right hairstyle. Actually, this feels better for space too. Jump off. Oh, I see. Down. I don't know. I just, I will always kind of prefer a palette that kind of, you know, is more, less washed out. Because the, uh, the original palette is quite washed out, but this is less so, so. Ow. Ow. Those, in fact, hurt. Specimen collected. New palette unlocked. You don't say. What did I unlock? Oh, so we can get more pallets, huh? Alright, oh! You guys were complaining about how there wasn't any Earth. Don't worry, Earth is here. And it looks super fucking brown and smoggy. That's Earth, alright. Humans have polluted a lot. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the darker shade of this, though. It's it's very... It, it just works better for... It look, it's less painful on my eyes when it's not washed out. I don't know about you guys, but crisp colors like this, where it's like stronger blacks and whites and such... Uh, it, it just doesn't hurt the eyes as much, <laughs> you know? At least it does for, that's how I feel anyways. Earth sucks, I'm disappointed. Earth sucks! Social commentary activated. I mean, technically, I mean, of course it does. Totally not because you're purple or anything. Well, it's, if it was a washed out purple, I'd still not like it. This is a good balance though. I get, pur I get purple and pink. Which are my colors, and and I hello, and I also get less washed out colors. It's a win win. <laughs> Commits a tit smug. We got an emote for that actually. Ship Pegasus to ground control. Repeat. Ship Pegasus to ground control. Do you copy? Have my two squad reporting ready for Operation Getaway. <laughs> what kind of Operation name is that? Uh, we're ready. We're a hardcore squad. We're ready for Operation. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> All right. Also, I don't know if I like the name of the Jamni Two Squad. I keep wanting to say Jamni Squad Two. Jamni Two Squad. It sounds weird. I feel like you should drop the squad at that point. And just call them the Jamni Two. I don't know. Ground Control Jamini 2 Squad, we hear you with some interference. What's your position? We are approaching the asteroid frontier horizon. Contact expected at 126143 at preset coordinates. Mission Dire F3. Next communication during re entry phase. Starting radio silence. Remember, Jamini 2, failure is not an option. Over and out. Oh, there they go. There they go. Now they used it. Stupid white collars, they wouldn't be so brash if their asses were in. We're here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, Hulk Hogan, whatever you say. Okay, crew, hold on tight. There could be some jolt story landing. Jet first Jamini. You know what? That's a game I never played but always wanted to. 
All right, we have a, we have a shitty asteroid on our hands here, as opposed to a really nice asteroid. The agent, this unknown virus, fungus, or whatever, is causing uncontrolled mutations throughout the ecosystem, so keep your tr triggers ready. Remember to pick up the teleporter and use the up button or M key if you need to return to the base in case of emergency. Wait, what button? Okay. For example, you need a, the, the robotic medical unit. A little further on, this, there's the gate to the mining complex. A few survivors gather at the foot of the mountain. I do have to say, the more tits white does not necessarily do the background favors in this location. It is a little bit hard to look at. It might be a little nuts due to the isolation, perhaps the beginning of a contamination, but you never know. Maybe they can offer something useful. Captain, could the agent be dangerous for us too? I have no idea. But try and bring your asses back safe and sound. You're more useful as you are, instead of being turned to some fucking slimy creatures. Okay. <laughs> The priority now is to save Jade Frontier, a key member of the scientific expedition Orion. She's sent an SOS, so I trust she's still alive somewhere in the depths of this damned asteroid. If you don't if, if you don't feel ready, you can practice at our virtual training module. I expect no less than 100 percent for you. Now move! <laughs> Alright. Thanks for that. The Stalker. Oh, I can switch characters. Oh, okay. Uh well, what are we well he's got QQ. I guess I have to. That's the robotic medical unit. Okay. Teleporter. Okay, so I can use the teleporter to. Oh, I see. Press. Down. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Um. Um. Okay. So we can also. Yeah. Let's change the palette again. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go back to the default palette and see if it actually does work better. For the, admittedly, it does look a lot better with the default palette for this area. Previous area, we're in, I kind of wanted to change it here. Yeah, I'll stay with default for now. Um, let's see here. So, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm getting used to the spelling. The character, the key, the uh, especially the lowercase letters are a little weird to read. Like, look at grade. Look at the word grade there. It's a G, and then an R, kind of, and then I guess it's an A, even though it doesn't really completely look like it. This is a bad font size, I'll be honest. They need a little more space, I feel. Look at the E. What the fuck's the E doing? Like, I, I know what it's saying, but it's not very nice to read. It's it's too small a font. Look at the shotgun. It doesn't have a space for the G's oh, uh, little circle. So it just looks like a little key or something. Like <laughs> It is trying, but it's too low resolution. I have messed with a lot of fonts in my day, including pixel fonts. And if you lower pixel fonts resolution, it just doesn't look good. You gotta have a certain amount to make it actually look okay. Uh, that's a logic I've used in my thumbnails before. Anyways, uh... Okay. Oh, okay, it's a shotgun, alright. So that was the mutant we were. He has a thermic gun. Power, accuracy, speed. I actually want whatever shoot stuff are this, assuming the veteran. Huh. Huh. I'm not sure what to say about that move. Uh, that's that ability. Very fast, yeah. Then we have the Raider with a precision rifle. I assume that's a weird attack. Is that? Oh, okay. I think I'm about this. Let's go with sniper rifle. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. What does that mean? Okay, here's a weird thing. There's a really weird thing about how you fire. So if you press the fire button, you shoot. If you jump and press the fire button, you shoot. Pretty logical. If I hold down the fire button, I keep shooting, whether I'm jumping or 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 standing or moving. If you move and press the shoot button, you shoot. Here's the weird thing. It let me demonstrate. I can't. It's hard to explain, but let me explain. I'm going to do multiple actions, and in every one of those actions, I'm going to press the shoot button only one time. Okay. So here's me pressing the shoot button while standing still. Here's me pressing the shoot button once while moving. Here's me pressing the shoot button once while jumping. And here's me pressing the shoot button button while moving and jumping. And here's me pressing the shoot button while moving and jumping and then changing direction in the air. Really? It's not doing it now. There it is. Do you see that? 
I don't know what triggers it. But but I can't, like there he is again. Those those sometimes it shoots a second shot and I have no fucking idea why. <laughs> I mean it's not really a big deal, but it's like that's weird. There's some inputs being like mixed up there, I think. What's this? Go. All right. I'm going to go. Did not count that. I don't know if it counted that. Oh, I died. Very odd. Wait, charging? What? It. <laughs> if you fail training, you have to wait for it to recharge. Before you could do training again? What the hell? That's randomly penalizing the player. All right then. I guess they don't want you repeating that for some reason. Elevator. Since the invitation broke out, no one has been locking, looking after the at reactor that powers the entire asteroid. The temperature gets out of control. A disaster could happen at any moment. That's nice, but I'm going to go to the black market. So let's see here. Full ammo refill, nanotech injection increases. Each one increases life by one point. Does that apply to only the character I'm using? Hmm. Back sample for special weapons. Combat drone, armed with a machine gun, and a self-destruct button. I don't know if the latter is that useful, but okay. On the orders of Orion team, we sell the sectors of the asteroid where there is more biological hazard activity. I, even the capital letter text doesn't look that good to me. It's not because of the palette, but like the fact that it's two-tone color, half and half, it kind of distracts. Do you notice that? I don't know if it's just me, but it makes it slightly harder to read when it's like half one color and half another. I don't know what it is. It, I know they're trying to do a gradient, but it's slightly distracting. Like it breaks up the letters a bit. First one is in the mechanized extraction area to the east, with the second one in the control tower. The third is in the collection tanks where the reactor cooling waters are conveyed. And the fourth is in the depths of the satellite asteroid. We've lost many men silly in those areas. I myself am miraculously alive, but I have not felt well for a few days now. You are so dead, I guess. Too bad. I don't believe this age's story. I've heard that V Corp is hiding something from us. I see. What about you? We're gonna die! Wah! Uh, fair enough. That guy's not exactly as cool collected as his friends. Wow, yeah, okay. I, I guess I'll do train again later. Sheesh. Wow, it's... Why, though? They don't want you to repeat it. They want you to repeat it in small bursts. Maybe it gives like a really good reward and they didn't want you to farm it, but like I failed though, so why does it matter? <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyways. I guess I'll do it later. <clears throat> Why is the sniper not hit scan? Yeah, I kind of would think so too, but it doesn't have the map. Oh, headquarters, ventilation. So here's our world map, I guess. Okay. By the way, the explosive barrel's exploding on me. Does it actually harm me? And I don't know why, <clears throat> but it doesn't. Oh, okay, so here's where here's what our map looks like. So I'll look it over for a second. So it's divided into different set. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of rooms. Wonder how they all connect. This must be the whole game world, actually. It goes up probably to the top surface. Can't even tell. All right. <clears throat> I 
guess I'll meander around a bit. <clears throat> what? Oh, shit. I didn't realize that was a hazard. I did, was not paying attention. I am nearly dead already. Okay. I just heard of this game. Maybe I should get those life ups. <laughs> That's fine. I saved. Lessons. You can save in any... Okay, I don't mind if it's difficult, though, because you can seemingly save in any empty room. Assuming there's no enemies in it. So, that's nice. Only? I'm sure that's what they want me to do. Yes, I'm sure that's what they would prefer. I actually had a moment where I caught the lip. So now I just want to do it. Hold on. <laughs> Fire is just the right positioning. Ah, fuck it. I'll go around. Being cheeky is fun, but not if it takes a really long time. <laughs> Oh wow, did you see all those bolts I shot? I only shot one there, but... Also, that, that guy was in a weird, awkward position. Alright. Yeah, there's some weird shit going on with shooting multiple times that I'm not really controlling, and I don't know really why it's doing it, but whatever. Help. I use my range to my advantage, that's the key here. Oh, I'm full up on money. Hold on. Why is there a money limit anyways? Oh, enemies come back. Okay. Yeah, I guess go back. Sure. Oh, I can use train again. Maybe this time I won't fuck it up. Alright, I don't care about the speed anymore. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can. Wait. Wait, that's counterproductive what I just said. Never mind. I'm gonna go as fast as I can safely, rather than... Rushing is what I meant. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I, I. I don't know if I like how this game feels, like, play wise. I know the, the train enemies would be dropping me gold, I would have come here <laughs> I would have come here after staying at the shop. Oh well. That's pretty good. I just got more money for doing that, didn't I? That was a waste of my time, because I'm full up on my- Why do I have a wallet size? It's so restrictive, too. Also, yes, the exploding fireballs don't hurt me. I was actually trying to address that point earlier, but kind of forgot. Kind of interrupted myself, I think. Um... So, yeah, I don't know what to say. Like... It's- it's weird, because I- I got a bunch of money I just didn't get, because, well, I didn't have... Because I had a full wallet. Why is it? Why is there a limit on how much money you can carry? 
I get the I get the train I get the train center not being farmable, but why the hell do they force me to have a limit on my uh, amount of money I can carry? That's that's dumb. It does seem easy enough to get more money though, so I guess it's not too big a deal. Where guy this guy's special is? Oh shit. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool special, I gotta say. I think I'm I think I'm fond of that one. Just the lol, let me shoot anybody on the screen. Special. Honestly, Zelda, like, Zelda games can perhaps pull off the limited wall, but I don't really like it either. Oh. Wait. That's not very nice. Oh, what the... I, you know, I don't... I don't know how I feel about instant death traps right at the beginning of the game. Can't say I'm a huge fan of it. But, you know, that's just my opinion. I didn't really realize that that instantly kills you. <laughs> it should just hurt you, what the hell? Um, let's do wave. I'm just gonna mess around with- oh my goodness, I don't know if I like wave. It kind of looks cool, but... Yeah, I, I, we're seeing all sorts of instant death traps. We got the fan stuff, and we got the, uh... These walls, these uh, laser energy wall things. This game is chock full of things that can just murder you. I guess I really should be hitting that manual save button more often, huh? Because if I don't, I'll just load... What? That's a really weird save system, too. Like, I can save anywhere, but if I don't... I could be in trouble. <laughs> Wow, I walked a little farther forward than I meant to walk there. <laughs> oh well. This just seems dangerous, but okay. Yeah, it is. Go figure. <laughs> At least it was dangerous for them. Yeah, I like. The, I, I do like the general palette look of this game, but I'm not sure if I. I think it's fun to play yet. It kind of gives me—it's giving me a weird vibe. I don't know how to explain it. What's this? Uh oh. Ooh. Specimen. New palette. Sweet. What do we got? Sorry that I'm scrolling through all this, but uh, eerie light. Yeah. Okay. Sure. It'd be nice if it told you what what palette you unlocked when you unlock one. Just quickly tell me, you know. Armor piercing tech. Oh, I can't even. So yeah, we're gonna increase our wall. This is really stupid. I don't like the limited. I don't like the limited currency thing because I knew they would. I had a feeling they would do this. Look, we went to the shop here and look items I literally can never buy right now until I get an upgrade for my money. So basically, they're they're basically disallowing you to go ahead and save up for like a fancy upgrade since you don't have the means to hold that much money. That's lame in my opinion. That's just lame right there. So seeing this proves that we're going to get a wallet upgrade at some point. But that's arbitrary. It's that's forcing that's pigeonholing the player, forcing them to only interact with certain features when the developer feels that they're good and ready to give them. And fair enough if you want a certain upgrade only available when you do get another certain upgrade, but like limiting it behind a currency system, that's just kinda lame. That's just kinda rude, man. There's better ways to limit the player from receiving an ability. Much better ways than that. Ow. 
Because that's just a very frustrating way to limit the player. That's the thing about... Honestly, it's that's the thing about being a game developer. You don't... You want... Like, limiting a player is required... Is usually a required part of game design. The key is to limit a player in a way where the player doesn't really even realize they're being limited. And use a system that is actually really fair to the player and doesn't make them go like, Ah, I want this, but I can't have it just because of this thing, and that's lame. Like, if the player is presented with a system that just denies them something for the sake of denying them, that's not very fun. <coughs> Boom. You start looking at things from a dead point of view. I think Zelda would have actually broken if that number wasn't capped. Eh. I'm not saying a money cap system in Zelda doesn't necessarily work, but here it doesn't really feel... I mean, they want me to... Listen, if you want to limit the items a player gets, there's just better ways of doing it. That's what I'm trying to say. I said there would just be a save up there. Personally, I think it's frustrating to look at a shop and see that I can't buy something. And the only reason I can't buy that thing is because I literally cannot carry that much money. Here's the thing, dude. It presents a new problem. Look, I maxed out my money again. Now, any future progress I make in this area, without going back and spending at a shop, is basically a waste of time. Like, I'm wasting... I'm going to be wasting money drops now. Because I could choose to go back, but then I'd have to start from... I'd have to start back from the E, you see. So unless I find another, once until I find another teleport point, uh, if I if I I have a choice here of either going back to spend my hard-earned cash so I don't waste new pickups, or I keep going forward and waste those pickups so that I find another checkpoint. This is a this is a kind of unfun situation to be put into as a player. I mean, look at all this money I could be picking up, but I can't. So yeah, that's the reason I don't think the wallet system is a good idea, because it's going to continuously frustrate the player, especially if they're picking up money that they can't keep. <laughs> like, that's just not fun. Well, I found a D. What's this? Each one increases life by one point. Wait, is that permanent? I don't know. I guess it is. Oh yeah, I mean, reasonable money caps I totally understand. Oh, it's a new area, okay. I guess I'll keep progressing. But like, right now, all I'm doing is wasting my money. It's sad. Or wait, see. Well, here we go. None the good. I was hoping for that. I was hoping that brood chambers, kinky. Uh, <laughs> at least I can spend now, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, for instance, I can't even buy this, so I guess I'll buy the combat drone. It's just I see a lot of. There's going to be a lot of wasted money pickups in this, and that's just kind of sad. So do I have a drone friend now, or? How do I use it? Uh, how do I use it? I have, apparently I have a drone. Basically, I don't mind a money limiting system, but man, it, it should be, uh, it should, should be with, balanced with your money pickups and your money, uh, upgrades in such a way that it doesn't frustrate the player, such as it's technically doing for me and for good reason, I feel. Um, 
I mean, it's not the end of the world if I waste money pickups, but it's not fun to waste money pickups. Star Fox Adventure only carries 10 scarabs for a DK increase the ledger. Yeah, Star Fox Adventure waste. And that's another thing. Star Fox Adventure is a good example of how that sort of system can also waste the player's time. Speaking of wasting time, I I'd like to point out. I didn't I forgot to heal. I didn't use the medical bot when I went back to base. Here's a crazy idea though. Here's a crazy thought. What if what if you what if when you went back to base it just healed you? Instead of forcing you to use a manual healing bot. Like, in what situation would I be like, oh shit, I'm glad that I can choose to manually heal or not because I really don't want to heal right now. Like, why, why would you not want to heal? <laughs> There's no good reason why that system can't be, speed, well, automated. Oh, good. Oh, I think I just realized, wait, where did I leave off? Okay, after I, yeah, okay. So there's only a manual save when you access the elevator. Oh, okay then. Kill me. Thank you. What a pointless inter interaction. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I guess I really don't have a lot of reason to farm money, though. I guess I'll just kill the things in my way. But if you're wondering why I died when I did, it's because the wall jump is kind of... What's the word? Forceful, I guess? Like, you're going in a direction where you jump off a wall and, you will, and you'll like it, Buster. You will like that direction. Um... Oh, that's a lovely enemy placement. Thank you for that. Can't even knock me on the next back on the next screen or the previous screen. Cool. I am getting really thrown off by the game randomly shooting when I'm moving around. Like sometimes it just reads my button input twice, and I don't know why. And I'm checking, it's not my key gain stuck, I... I confirm that. So I don't know why it's doing that, it's very weird. Chance of extra shot? I would say so, but it like actually can throw off the next time on my next shot, so it's actually kind of bad if that's how it works. At least I could save anywhere, as long as I remember to. Right, what do we what do we got here? Another D, so this goes down to the lower area. And where is this? Hi. Oh, it's for me. Out of fuel. See, this is exactly... I knew there was a reason they did that. So if you look up here on the map... Oh, no. If you look up here on the map, that one shop where I couldn't buy things, they had a fuel can. So the fuel can there that I have to buy that shop for like 250 that I can't buy because I literally can't buy it is to fuel this. So I, I I think what they're doing is they basically are placing essential upgrades in the shop, but to prevent you from getting those essential upgrades early, 
they are yeah. forcing you to not be able to literally buy things until you reach a certain... Until you get a certain other upgrade that ups your money about, I guess. Which hopefully won't take too long, but... What happens if a box slams your head? I don't know. Probably kills me. Like, I'm surprised how many instant death traps exist in just this first area, so probably just kills you. Game seems not terribly shy about murdering the player instantly. Thanks for that jump. Man, the the forced jump forward when I do a wall jump is not fun. Oh, there's a fan. Ah! Sorry, the horizontal fans. I didn't I didn't even notice that that was there. Sad face. At least I saved there, so that's not a big deal. Also, once again, I've maxed my money pointlessly. Hooray. Oh, for fuck's sake, that jump. You know what? Screw this. No, jump. No. What the fuck's wrong with you? Okay, there we go. Sometimes the wall jump just doesn't connect to. Bye. It's just not a good sign when a game's, like, a basic system in a game is frustrating me like this. I really do hate wasting, squandering something in a video game. A resource. Squandering a resource, basically. Um, such as money. Especially money. And mind you, remember, this is a Metrovania. It's, it's, it's clear that I can already go, like, to the right if I want, and there's other directions I can go. Like, who knows where the wall it is, though, you know? Weirdly, the explosions of barrels and stuff does seem to hurt enemies. Just not me. What the fu- what the fu- wait, hold on. Oh. Okay. Were they- Okay, the, the, that blows me backwards, though, game. Uh, and now I'm sliding on the barrel when I- Okay, hold on. What the fuck's up with this room? Okay, there we go. Jeez, that was crowded for no apparent reason. Also, rule of thumb, man. Respect the screen edge and give the players some space. Holy shit. I shouldn't be jumping onto a screen completely boxed in. That's just bad design. Also, it'd be nice if health drops existed, but it looks like... Again, look at the... I want to point out, I had to wall jump up here, and what happens? I collide with that enemy. Cool. Yeah, this level design is shit. I don't know what they're doing, or what they think they're doing, but this level design is shit. I'm now- I'm now immediately, like, cautious and worried every time I enter a screen. Oh my god, okay. And also the wall jump sometimes just doesn't work, I'd like to point out. Oh yeah, the game doesn't want you jumping up one single wall. Or- or maybe it- wait, it allowed me to? Oh, I think I know what's going on. Sometimes my wall jump fails because it's like, oh, you didn't jump soon enough, so now you're just gonna fall off the wall. Which, uh, yeah, that sure is a system you can have in, the, in your game, I guess. But yeah, like, right now, I, I money is pointless again. Yeah, they ruined this money system, and I don't really think the level design is much better either. At least they ruined it in my opinion, okay? <laughs> I'm sure some of you seem a lot more chill about the money system, and that's fine, but, like, I am out of things to buy now. Now it's just wasted money. I could buy an ammo refill, but, again, that's just... I have full ammo, so... 
<clears throat> so I there's no less than like five things I can buy, but can is put in parentheses because I don't have a wallet size large enough to actually buy the items that I can buy. So I guess I'll sit on this 100 money doing nothing with it for a while. Cool. It's not, it's not, not, it's not just simply not being allowed to buy something that bothers me, it's, it's, when it's like this, where it's like, well, bought two things, that's all the important upgrades I can buy, I guess I'll waste my money now. Literally waste my money, because these pickups, like, I don't know why they decided to make it 100, I think that's the problem I have. Like, why is the initial amount 100? Why not 200, at least? At least at 200, I feel like I'm still saving up some. I know I complain about a very small problem, technically, it's, at least some people would consider it small. I consider it to be a major game component, though, it seems to be... It seems to be a major, I mean, it seems like we're locking important upgrades behind the feet, feet system, so... I don't know, it seems important to me. What's that? Maybe I'll find out. Uh huh. New item collected. Cool. What is it? Ah, that's the wallet. Thank you. F At least. It okay, but I think I found it. Each one increases the max iridium pieces you can carry by 100. So I got a constantly. That's not even enough to buy the fuel tank, though. I want to point out. But at least I can now get more. The fuck? Well, at least I saved before that happened. Again, the wall jump is exceptionally inconsistent if you're trying to, like... Just kill me. Okay, so those are not instant death. They just felt like they were because they do so much damage. I... I... The take 1, 3, 5... I don't remember. I would also point out... That another... Oh my god! What is up with the fucking... I think I get it. If you fall for long enough, you can't cling to a wall. That's kind of a bad system combined with a wall jump system, though. So if I want to actually climb... No, that not even that works. What the fuck is up with this wall jump? I guess... I guess if I... Do, wait, do I have to jump to trigger a wall jump in the first place? That might be it. So I guess... Uh, no, it seems to have something to do with falling, too. Well, whatever. But here's another problem. It'd be one thing if I had to get a bigger wall size and then I could go buy the items I need. But look, there's... There's a shop on the surface, but there's also a shop deep in the dungeon, so n they are forcing me to go backtrack for items in in a fair bit of a distance, too. I, I don't know if I agree with this system at all. Like, it seems like a big time waster. As well, like, oh my goodness. This is really bad design, in my opinion. Because, like, yeah, there's a surface shop, that's nice, but there's also... There's also the shop that I have to I have to platform through the area again just to get to it, so. I'm kinda like, hmm. I mean, it's not a huge deal, I suppose, but it is busy work. The Metrovanias don't need busy work, they're large enough anyways, usually. Wow, a medical kit. They do drop. I thought they did it, but apparently they can. Interesting. Yeah, but now I need to collect more money, which I shouldn't have to, because I've I already collected money before, but now I do again. Also, I want to point out that shooting any boxes or even enemies and having being nearby them, their explosion doesn't hurt you. But it does knock you around, and you can fucking bet believe that it can mess you up. Because it absolutely can. I can barely wall climb. This wall climb system is broken. Or rather, it's finicky, I guess is a better word. I think I was supposed to have to jump through that, but I was like, nah, let's not. Yeah, it's, uh, it, I, I don't know, it just doesn't feel very fun, I guess, is the best way to put it. This game as a whole, I mean. Well, 
Glad I'm using the character that can shoot from a distance at least, but. We keep going up. Yeah, it's just this is one of those things that's kind of game filled too, you know? Getting knocked around, having the wall jump be super finicky, it's just not fun mechanics. That's interesting. Oh, what's this? Hi. This is staff for decimated. The reactor temperatures has become critical. I advise you not to go beyond the security door. I will go beyond this. Is there really no way to sink into the reactor and shut it down? The only way would be to use a robot. Between the anti-controlled armored guards, agent-controlled armored guards, and the strong radiation, it won't be easy to get through that hell. Okay. Now at least I found an elevator. Oh, you're an enemy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Warning radiation. Behind this gate is the reactor. Creation is too high. Only a robotic unit would have a chance of going through there and shut the power down. Here's, here's my main issue with the system at play. Like, it's a Metroidvania, and so... I don't know if this is crazy, but I kind of enjoy... I kind of feel like if you're playing a Metroidvania, it's, it's kind of nice if... I don't know. If you want to buy things, if you want to access an area out of sequence of what the developer intended, that's kind of okay. Like, if I had not had a wallet limit and I would have already bought the robot and gone to that area before going to other areas, what's the big deal? Like, I feel like most Metroidvania should be designed in such a way, they don't have to be, mind you, but they sh I feel like it's reasonable to say that they should be designed and, or at least, it's, it's a beneficial design choice to allow the player to kind of do what they want, go where they want, but just limit them based on their abilities, not necessarily what abilities they can access. Per se, but like what a like yes, yeah, so you maybe there's some situations where you might want to script something, but for the most part, exploration is part of the name of the game, and it's okay if a player decides to do an area out of sequence. It's not really a big deal. Just lock the final bit of the game behind going to all the areas or some shit, you know? Like you can just lock the final area of the game to being, you know, stuck behind going to every area, and that way they can go out of sequence if they want, but eventually they have to go to the areas. The, that they missed too, so it's like no big deal, right? At least that's how I feel. I think I think part of the charm of a Metro B is being able to kind of go in your or own directions, in your own order. And the more control I see a developer try to rest of a player in a Metroidvania, the more I wonder why they made a Metroidvania. Like, if you want to do that, then why not just you know, make a linear shooter or something. Why a flat? Why a why a Metroidvania at that point? Ow. Oh, I died because I read the chat, and that also did. What is everything? Okay, that's another problem I have. Why is it that things either do one ticket damage or they do like fucking six? Cool. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter that much to me, honestly. All because I read the chat and bumped a wall, but just. Like, I don't know. It feels like the damage is uh, really kind of unreasonable. <laughs> uh, just how much, how much things hurt you, basically. See, part of the fun of a Metrovania is not... It's not fun, per se, to be like, Oh, I cannot access this area. The fun is like, ooh, what cool ability can I get that will also let me access this area in addition to give me some cool abilities? You know, that's that's the fun. It's not like, shit, I can't reach that ledge. Like, that sucks a little bit, but you know what doesn't suck? Imagining the cool ability you'll get that lets you access... The, is, what is it going to be? Is it going to be a double jump or an air dash? Or, like, how are you going to get up that ledge? Like... 
being presented with a situation you can't get past is a little bit frustrating no matter what, but that can be easily offset by, oh, wow, what, what am I going to get that lets me through here? That might be kind of interesting, you know? Like, it's, it's, it offsets the frustration, basically. It's like, oh, well, this is mildly annoying, but I'm really eager to get whatever this gets me. Um, you know, whatever ability this lets me access this area with. Uh, but the thing is, you don't get that with, like, oh, oh boy, I can't buy this item because my wallet's not big enough. I'm really excited to get a bigger wallet. Like, who the fuck says that? You're not, like, that's utilitarian, sure, but that's not really fun. To have different wallet sizes and stuff. Like, okay, well, that is a feature that exists, but I wouldn't say I'm excited about it. Like, oh boy, I can't wait to actually be able to spend my money. <laughs> Like, wow, so much fun. <laughs> it's like, you know? I know I'm really harping this, I apologize, but... The only other thing I can really talk about is... This is a bit generic, honestly. The only thing, other things I can really talk about is that I'm shooting things. Like, it's not a bad game, but... it's There's not much noteworthy to talk about when it comes to what I'm doing. God, I can certainly talk about how terrible the wall jumping is. Do you see how it likes to careen me random directions? <laughs> I like the Save Anywhere feature, it kind of offsets the bullshit a little bit, but that's not really a- that's kind of a backhanded compliment at the best, so... I like the Save Anywhere feature because the game would be shit without it. Like, it's not- it's not really a compliment, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to be overly negative, it's just I don't have a lot positive to talk about. So I may as well talk about the negatives. Is how I feel about it. Your movement when you wall jump is you're really at the mercy of momentum. Also, there's just situations where you change screens, and it's like there's an enemy, and you just jumped into him. Good work. Yeah, a lot of bad design, unfortunately, in this. I'm, and I'm not even like the music is like, eh. It's noise. It works, I guess. It works for the purposes of noise. But I wouldn't say it's very good, sadly. Warning. I think I'm gonna save. I do honestly appreciate the save anywhere the room. Any, basically, the ability to save when there are no enemies in a room. That's actually a pretty nice feature. I, I think that's a. I think I like that. It's just mixing with less good features, so, oh well. And the wall jump is incredibly inconsistent. Sometimes it just sends you a direction, and sometimes it doesn't. Perhaps story time tells a story sign? Uh... This game reminds me of another Metroidvania I played. Remember that one Metroidvania that wasn't terribly long, but I, I never held it. What was that one game called? I feel like it was Space Station something something, but I don't remember. It wasn't terribly groundbreaking, but it was a nice little adventure. This makes you think of it a little bit, but it played a lot better, that one. Okay, so... I think I can maybe buy something at that distant shop, I'm not actually sure. I guess we'll go back up and see. I'd like to get to a boss fight before I quit. Assuming this game has boss fights. Aside from that, we have access to... well... We have access to the nuclear plant. We technically dumped ourselves down to the... Down is where the robot is, right? Going south? Like, that's where the robot is, if I recall. And I couldn't access the nuclear plant without the robot, so... Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back up. Look at this little serpentine path I gotta do just to get back there, though. Can we, like, rush through the enemies, sort of? I don't think I really can. At least I'm playing the guy with a long-range weapon. That does make things slightly easier. Got a robot on a robot named Fight. That's not it. I can't remember what it was called. I don't have to fight enemies, at least.
I'm instinctively picking up these items even though they're useless to me. Oh, but I have to do this bad, this stupid jump every single time. Well, if you insist. That's a little annoying. Every time I want to go back to this shop. Also, just I want to point this out. Yeah. Okay. It's not. I'm not crazy. The wall jump just doesn't work sometimes. Here I can cling to this wall. But this wall? No. Except for what I can, of course. What the hell? I was definitely jumping at it without... There! Look, look at that! Look at that! Oh! Oh! I'm jumping... I'm briefly touching the left wall, and it prevents me from colliding with the right wall. Oh, that is so bullshit. So basically, I barely interact with one wall, so the opposite wall I suddenly can't interact with, even though I can jump between walls. I guess because I didn't technically do a wall jump off the left wall, it just doesn't let me cling to the right. So this is why... I was wondering why the wall jump just felt so bad. This this is a good indicator of why. It's 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 coded extremely poorly. For instance, there I dropped all the way back down because I couldn't cling to the wall again. Wow. I I don't know. I'm just like I'm kind of flabbered. Fuck. That is so bullshit. Also, you have to do a wall jump to enter this room. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I can't buy the fuel tank. I didn't think so, but I can buy the armor piercing rounds, which I guess I will. Increases max damage for all standard weapons. I mean, that's definitely helpful. Okay, time to collect money again. Fuel tank is 320, yep. And I gotta come back for it later. So I gotta do this trip back again. Keep in mind, it's a somewhat dim dangerous trip with this fan area. I mean, I guess I'll say this, it doesn't take long to get more money. A decent supply is floated, thrown at your face, so... I guess no huge complaints there, but... I still just, I still would just rather not be wasting my money. Like, the pickups, I mean. Uh, I guess the game wants we go to go to the right, that's the one place I can go. So the field is behind three money upgrades. You're right. Because every upgrade gives 100. So I start at 100, then need to get another one for 200, then another one for 300, then another one for 400, and then I can buy it. I'm not just kind of scared to use the whole job. It's just, listen, if that fuel tank was, instead of, be, instead of being arbitrarily not viable and behind a shop wall, because I just don't hold enough money to buy it, if it was instead like, oh, I don't know, if it was instead like, um, that fuel tank was on a ledge and I just, I needed to get a double jump ability to get it, that would feel a lot more dynamic, interesting, and less frustrating. Because it's, it's a really arbitrary thing to say, well, you can't hold that much money! It's like, oh, okay? I mean, inventory limits are always a thing, but like, it's usually more interesting when the currency system is not locked behind that inventory limit. I always hate it. Like, that's one of the things I don't like about games, or that's one of the things I dislike about games more often than not is when I either have a tr like a strict inventory limit on the number of items I can carry, which I don't always like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, or a uh, strict limit on the amount of money I can hold, which again just arbitrary. It just makes busy work happen. So not fond of it. Uh, I'll check out a little bit more of the game though. Just I want to see what another area looks like, just to get a fuller opinion of this game. So let's see what the brooding chambers are like. The fuck? Wait, does that go through walls? Oh, it absolutely does. Okay. 
Also, I do have to say the knockback when you uh, break any object or enemy near you. The little knockback you get, really shitty when you consider there's a lot of stuff you can knock back into that just kills you. Not a good combo. What the hell is that thing? A piece of flan attempted to kill me. Or hovered above me, I suppose. Same difference. Okay. Yeah. I've actually started to notice something, though. I've played a few Metroidvanias for Halo for an hour. I've started to notice. Some of them are just not very good. Alright, black market. See? Okay, 350. So I also have to pop back over here when I get a 400 wall to get this. Though this does remind me, I bought a droid and I still don't know how to use it. Like, how? I've actually pressed every button on the controller. Oh, hold on. Controls. Uh, special weapon, inventory map, jump select, fire, move, space, pause, swap special weapon. I mean... No, that doesn't swap out the... So, I, I apparently I bought a drone, but I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> alternate way to get through, right? Nope, nope. Or maybe this droid is an alternate way, maybe. But I bought a droid earlier and I still have no idea how you equip it. It doesn't even show up in my inventory list, oddly enough. Oh, I wonder if the drone is maybe for another character. Maybe that's it. That could be it. That would have been nice if they specified if that was the case, but... Like, I don't mind, I do kind of like the aesthetic design of this game, I'll, I'll be honest, like, it, it is kind of interesting to me, but... I feel like it's not a very fun game, like, as a whole. Again, I want to play... It, since it is a Metroidvania, I, one thing that's weirding me out is, where's the boss fights? Maybe the first area kind of is more of a crossroads sort of area, so, like, maybe that's why. But if that's the case, then this area probably would have a boss fight, right? So, I would like to see if we can find a boss fight to get a fuller opinion of the game based on its... Well, boss fights can tell you, tell you a lot about a game. To put it simply. Is that an interactable object? Okay, can you even tell? <laughs> new pallet! Let's see what we got. Oh, we unlocked two new talents at some point. Storm and Proxituri. Let's do Proxituri, sure. Orange. Orange and blue. What an odd little combination. But like a teal blue. It does actually work. I'm not sure why it works. This is a weird color combination, but it does work. But yeah, let's see if we can fight a boss fight. I feel like I feel like it's we should do justice by fighting a boss fight, so. I really don't like and don't understand why everything knocks me back if I'm next to it. Explosion... Like, everything explodes and that explosion will always knock you back, and why? It actually can throw you off the ledges and fuck you up, so I'm not fond of that. At all. Also, it just slows you down for no apparent reason. Like, look, watch this barrel. Like, it's subtle, but I definitely got knocked back there, and you cannot force... You cannot avoid that knockback, so effectively what happens is, if you're on the edge of a ledge, you will be falling off. <laughs> Like, even if you can correct quickly, you will be falling off. That guy was in my way. Hmm. That's a one-way drop. Okay. At least I've learned at this point, though, if my wall's full, fuck the enemies. I'm just going to ignore them. <laughs> I mean, granted, I can't save without clearing a room, but... Ah, uh, small price to pay, really. There's that accidental wall jump again. 
Anything useful in here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, no. Oh, oh no. Mother f Yeah, that is the risk of not clearing the rooms. Wait, that's weird. Though despite losing progress, I'm still using the new palette I unlocked. Huh. Huh. Does that mean that's that you pick up items and it saves what you picked up? Hmm. I might have to investigate this. Yeah, like, listen, like... <laughs> again, the money system's actually not serving the game in a different way, now I think about it. Because... Like, you, when you are full on money, it's like, oh, well, the enemies don't really have much of, of worth, so I may as well just rush through them. So what happens if you do that? You don't save. What happens if you don't save and then you die? You fucked. Also, the amount of things that just outright kill you or do so much damage they may as well. We've run into four... I've already run into four different I items that just instantly kill you. Or do so much damage that they may as well. At least two shot me, to bit simply. Whenever I do clear a room, I should probably just spend a second to... Well, save, I guess. <laughs> there. Yeah, if enemies dropped health, there'd be more reasons to kill them, certainly. But yeah, it's a kind of a nasty system, due to the money system being kind of blah. It basically means that almost everything doesn't have a point of being destroyed, which leads you to wanting to skip enemies, which puts you in a dangerous position when it comes to, um... But of course that puts you in a dangerous position when it comes to, like, you know... Not dying, not losing progress. Oh, by the way, these platforms, I can actually drop through them by just a simple down tap I want to put... Wait, the specimen's still there, so I'm using the... Hold on. Yeah, so I lost, I did in fact lose the pallet, but since I was using it, I kept the pallet. That's weird. Yeah, just to demonstrate, there is nothing stopping me from just tapping down another time and dying instantly like that. So I also don't really like how these acid pits that kill you are also kind of positioned above things you can accidentally drop through. Because as I've kind of demonstrated, the controls are not exactly ideal in this game. As I probably somewhat accurately demonstrated by now. Okay. Oh, I was I was wall jumping off that fucking barrel by accident, and thus I couldn't. That's really wow. Sorry, I'm just getting. I'm impressed when I can't wall jump. Honestly, like I'm impressed at what conditions need to be met for that to just stop working. It's actually kind of amazing. Can't save unsafe position. The whole game's an unsafe position. What are you talking about? <laughs> Help. Okay. How? Well, at least he has a marker on the map. I can't get over them. That does seem to indicate that I will be getting actually interesting upgrades, though, if I can access that area later. I 
I think Hollow Knight is not necessarily end all be all to Metrovania's, but it is a good blueprint, I'd say. A good a good idea to like look at what maybe what it did right. Certainly. As far as like uh, more also like Super Metroid, obviously would be a good choice. What's this do? Draw bridge act uh, fuck you. What drawbridge? Maybe the guy maybe where the guy was yelling help. Probably where the guy was yelling help. Does that mean I don't get to unlock a cool ability to cross that gap? I just uh, draw a drawbridge. I was just I was just complimenting game. I was literally just complimenting the game about how it maybe give me a cool ability at least. Am I wrong? I'm, I think I can loop around and go this way. I'm actually beginning to wonder if the game has the capacity to give me cool abilities. I mean, it might give me a mech. It looks like. Oh no! What do you want to bet the mech is like not very fun though? Like, maybe it's just, oh, walk through the thing and then you're good and now you can walk off it again or something. I don't know. What if it's just a small radiation zone, you gotta walk through the mech and then you go right back and be on foot because they didn't want to program the mech with attack abilities? I don't know. I'm just, I'm that's pessimistic, I suppose, but it's possible. Also, I'm going to die, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so they, okay, I, when I saw this gap, I was like, oh, we're gonna get some cool air dash? No, we're just gonna hit a fucking switch and cross a gap. All right. Jade, Jade Frontier. My God, are you with the Fur Cover team? I almost lost hope. Is everything okay? V Corp sent us after the receiving the SOS. What happened to the rest of the team? Split up. I think the others might have all been mutated by the agent now. If you hadn't arrived, I would have gone the same way. The situation is much more serious than we expected. The agent transforms every form of life present here into a biological slave, affecting its DNA. Soon this whole asteroid will be an infected biological a a log agglomerate, including us. Virium disposes are nothing more than fossil spores of the ancient, ready to reactivate in certain circumstances. Oh, good. When demand for Iridium increased, the extraction operations intensified. As a result, the asteroid temperature increased, creating the optimal conditions to reactivate the spores. My god, we're seeing a biological weapon of gigantic proportion, and everybody's using it for technological advancements. Unfortunately, they turned out to be evil spores. What we are using is a technological advancement material. Oh, no. You haven't heard the worst part yet. Earth. Yeah, Earth is the worst part. That's generally the that's generally how things go. Uh, that's right. All the radium that has already been transferred to Earth and the terrestrial colonies. A chain reaction could be triggered at any moment that will modify all life forms to their liking. We must leave quickly, but first we have to collect as many biological specimens as possible so we can find an antidote and stop the spread. Otherwise, life as we know it will end. I've been collecting those for their awesome pallets, but I guess we can do that for that reason too. We have to make our way between the compartments of the asteroids. The areas where the agent's activity is greater have been sealed. We'll need magnetic keys to open them. I've got the level one key. Take it. We'll open the way to the mechanized extraction area to the east. Copy that. Now use this teleporter. It'll take you to the headquarters of Gemini 2 Squad. You'll find my crew there. You'll be safe for the moment. Please be careful. All right, bye. Oh, what's this? Oh. Why is there an eye up there? Oh, wait. Is I just a save station? I guess so. Okay, well. <laughs> That's kind of weird, considering I can also save on any non-combat screen, or any screen of enemies removed, I, I guess you could say. I don't know why I decided to fight those guys. Bye! Alright. I have two health and a dream. <laughs> Oh, a specimen. Okay. Excellent. Oh, wait. I need to go further. Safe station. Don't care. Can't save bombs on screen. What bombs? <laughs> I guess the enemies attack. I guess that's fair. At least they did safeguard so you can't fucking die. Like, 
get yourself stuck in a save loop where you're just dead. So anyways, I'm still... I'm not sure if medkits are a random drop, actually, or are they just... We're in that one barrel. Oh, good. This is why I save. By the way, I want to point out, the wall jump really has you throw yourself forward sometimes, as you may notice. I'm just gonna go for it. Fuck it. It's down here. Jumpy boy. I thought so. I'm just looking for a boss fight, friends. Like, that's what I would like to know. Yeah, by the way, those. Those are... Actually, hold on. Let me see something. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, those uh, those things there, the, the one container I blew up, those, special, those seem to be special containers with more abilities or stuff in them. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Words. There it is. So let's keep going right. Oh, I can't save bombs three. Right, level key cards goes there. That's nice. Is there a save point? Hi. It's a tragedy. Every work in the sector has been affected by the agent. All right, but can I like get teleport? Thank you. Very, very good. What's the new palette? Let's see. Alumi. Yeah, the game does make me feel that way. Good. I actually do like this color choice, though. Gloomy. <laughs> These palettes are so accurate. Wait, no. So that goes to the extraction site. Okay. I want to finish the brood chambers. I wonder, did they not actually put any bosses in this game? I might, I feel like I'm getting the impression there's no bosses in this game, but I mean, I, you don't need bosses in a Metroidvania, I guess, but it's a nice highlight and a good chance to give you an ability after defeat a large challenge. So I'm kind of weirded out right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think those are how you get medkits. You fucking stop being in the wall, thank you. Damn it! That wall jump, man. How's this? Oh. Ah. Okay. All right, what's over here? Are you a boss? No, wait, you're just a guy hanging out. Well, it's a wallet. New wallet collected. Still can't get the. Uh... Still can't. Well, it's up to three hundred now, but I still would need another one to actually buy the fuel tank. So. Hooray! Really frustrating game gaming mechanics, but I will stop talking about it. I've repeated myself enough. I'm getting myself wrecked. Yeah, I'm, I'm done after I finish the brood chambers. This isn't a very good game. I like me some Metrovanias, but I like them to be actually be fun as well. And this isn't doing a good job of that, so... Yep, that's the room clear. What is that dot over to the right? What is that? Is that what I just picked up, or is there, like... Hold on. What's that about? Dot was the wallet upgrade, was it? Oh yeah, I guess the other dot, there's this dot on this screen. I'm sorry, there's just so many, there's so few collectibles that I didn't realize that the collectibles had markers that were left after you picked them up. <laughs> I didn't even realize because there's just so few of them.
Yeah, so what I'm seeing here is a game that they don't really have an upgrade system. They don't, maybe, they, they may not even have bosses. And so what they did was they mostly focused their upgrade system around optional specimen collectibles, which give you pallets, which is interesting. I, don't, I, I do like the idea of unlocking pallets. But the other upgrade, the other main upgrade system is just collecting wallet upgrades, basically. Which, they gated all their items that are important and give you access to things behind that money system. So everything is, is just playing ball with that upgrade system that is honestly not very good. <laughs> defensively. Dot save upgrade, don't, don't upgrades, yeah, basically. So it was, uh, so the fuel was like way too much money and then, I don't know why I still care, but like, was there another shop? I feel like there was. Yeah, there was that shop over there, which I think I, I can't buy the drone either because I don't have enough for that. But there was like one other item I could have bought over there. Regardless, it's a bit of a shame. I really do actually like this aesthetic style. I think it looks good. But, sadly, it's it's just kind of frustrating to play. That wall jump aspect, by itself, that wall jump issue is pretty big. The fact that the gun also shoots at weird times when I don't ask it to is actually harmful. Imagine if I shot something I didn't want to shoot, or imagine if I was ready to shoot something else. There is a delay between shots, keep in mind. Not much of one. But if a random errant shot happened when I didn't ask for it, and I wanted to shoot like a half millisecond afterwards to actually hit something important, that would fuck me up there. The wall jump is just badly designed. I don't know what they did to it. I don't know how they programmed it, but it's not good. But yeah, uh, shame. I actually thought this one would be decent, and it's, I guess it's decent, but I wouldn't really say it's good. Um. And it just feels, it feels unimaginative, especially for a Metroidvania. Level design is mostly okay. There's occasionally times where I jump through a loading screen and just immediately careen with an enemy, especially with certain directions, but yeah, I don't know. It just felt like a frustrating experience. It, it does not feel like it really lived up to its potential or that it could have way more potential than it, it currently has here. But that was Biota. If you're again, I think I've said this before for another Metroidvania that was kind of eh on Haller for an hour, where it's like it's not bad, it's not good. I think I've said it before. I'll say it again. This is one of those Metroidvanias where if you really, really want a new Metroidvania to play, and you there's nothing really amazing uh, out there that you haven't already played, maybe check out Biota. The same way as you know, you might watch a random TV show in the middle of the afternoon when there's something else good on. It's kind of like that. But that was Bayada. Go ahead and watch it for midday midday television entertainment because nothing better is on. Otherwise, give it a pass. <laughs>